Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be all about read stuffers. So occasionally I get some questions on what they are, how do they work, what kind of performance benefits do you get. Uh, the other questions I get is how do you install them, or they try and install them and it seems like they're not fitting, um, or you know whatever the issue is. And a lot of times it's just a simple procedure uh, that needs to be done. So read stuffers themselves are used pretty commonly uh, in the dirt bike world, scooter world, and everything. I have a stage six reed here. So this is an open cage. Uh, it doesn't have a reed stuffer in it, but each kit comes with these stuffers and they will then be fit into the actual reed cage and fill this space here. So what they're meant to do is take up these areas of turbulence that are caused between the carburetor and the reed. So this turbulence is pretty much from uh, the intake coming from a round hole into this square. In here, there's going to be a mismatch between the two shapes. and All this causes uh, turbulence within the gas, the air, and everything, and that's decreasing performance uh, and is overall not great uh, for your engine. So here um, in the motorized bike world, we've got a couple different reeds, and most commonly there's the G2 reed. This is the white cage. Uh, this is a CDH reed. There's some other brands that have names too, but it originates from CDH. Um, there's the GT80 reed, which these are pretty much being phased out. I've got a stuffer in there already. Um, these are pretty much being phased out. They're not really used much anymore. Um, some of the Gen 1 billet cases still use them. Um, and I think Gas Bike still uses these for the GT80, GT90 case reed kits. Uh, if they're even still making them, I'm not sure. Um, and then probably one of the most other popular reeds is the Dio reed. Uh, I'll give my opinion about these. We all have seen them. Uh, CDH sells them. They're all over eBay. They're all over the place, really. Um, so these stuffers, um, I'll just walk you through how to install them. So first we'll start with the Dio, because this is probably the most in-depth and complicated. It does have the most parts, but even then it's really simple. Uh, so first you have your big block here, um, this is just what goes on here, and then this bolts on to your actual cylinder with the reed in between. Um, so this block here, there's a huge volume here that needs to be filled, right? Because this is, this is a huge space for just bad stuff to be happening for flow. Um, so that's what this part's going to be for. Just going to slide in here, press it in. It should be pretty flush. Uh, there might be, a, you know, a tiny little bit sticking out. That's okay. It'll get compressed once you tighten it up. Next, you got your actual cage. So the deer reed cage is also the biggest of the three. If there's a ton of void inside here, that's not good. It needs to be filled. Um, so the procedure for this is to loosen up the pedals. You see how they're real loose here. Uh, if you keep them tightened up, what you'll see is... The screws will actually stick in to the inside, which will prevent you from actually putting the stuffer in. Uh, so some people, when they show me pictures, are saying like, oh, my, my reed isn't fitting, um, the part's wrong or whatever, and they'll show me a picture that looks like this. And you know, I know exactly what's going on. It's because you kept the reeds tight. Uh, and what's supposed to happen here is these little, there's a little notch here that's meant to fit in between this metal bar. So, unscrew it, not all the way, just enough to where the screws are not protruding into the cage. Just enough. And the reed stuffer will snap right in. There you go. So pretty much flush, you know, again, tiny little bit sticking out there. Um, that's fine. It gets all compressed once you put it together in gaskets and stuff like that. And then once you're done, tighten these back up. Uh, these screws will seat themselves into the stuffer. Uh, so it's best to kind of put some pressure on the back while you do it or else it'll want to push it out. But screw them in and uh, you'll be good to go. Once you're done, just put everything in like normal. Stuffer's in the cage. Uh, stuffer in the 
intake block, put it all together, you're fine. Um, I have been seeing recently when you put them in wrong uh, and you try and leave a bunch sticking out, you know, that last bit that I tried that was wrong, uh, it'll stick out like quarter inch or so. If you try to push it together, it will break this block. So make sure you don't do that. Um, put it in properly, unscrew the screws, put the stuffer in, screw them back in, uh, tighten everything up, you'll be good. Next, there's the G2. So G2's got a, you know, little decent size volume here. Uh, so got a stuffer for these. Uh, same thing. These are a little bit easier because they don't have the internal crossbar that goes in. It's just these screws that protrude out. Uh, I only have one side in here just to show you. So if you try and put it in, you'll get the same thing. It'll stick out part way and you won't be able to put this stuff on. So back out the screws. So they're not sticking down into the cage. Oops. And then the stuffer will slide right in. Um, Everything's flat, all is well. Same thing, put some pressure down, screw everything back up, and then it'll seat itself. Now you see the stuffers held in by those screws there. And then last, which is the easiest of them all, uh, is the GT80. This one's the smallest of the three cages, um, but still do have a stuffer for it as well. Uh, these also don't require to loosen anything because of the, the bars on them are pretty far and out of the way. Um, so you can literally just take this cage, take a stuffer, pop it right in, you're good to go. So I have all of these different stuffers for sale on my website. Uh, you can find them on Smellic Performance. They'll be in the Read Stuffer page section. Um, they're all listed out. They range from like 15, 25 bucks. Uh, the Geo's being the most expensive. Um, so I really, really recommend anybody um, to try these out. I have heard miracles from people and how well they work um, and how well they improve their performance. It's amazing, you know, how crazy of a difference a little stuffer can make. Uh, this little, you know, $15 piece of plastic. And, you know, the reason why is because you're, a lot of people are running really big carbs, especially these OKOs, they, uh, clones especially, uh, they do not draw enough vacuum for these carbs, our engines. Um, so we're wanting to, you know, pull these giant carbs and we just have too much dead space in these, in these reeds. Um, so this is where stuffers really come in, you know, especially with G2s and most importantly, the, the DO, cause you can see how much just how much extra space there is in all of these. Um, one of the biggest faults uh, with the DOs is you'll hear about guys that have their bike all up and running and like, oh, these, this should be a monster. And they end up being a dog on the low end. And they're, it's because they're gasping for air. Um, they're, the carbs are so big. The DOs have so much extra room that there's air being pulled from, uh, before the carb, while what you want to be doing is pulling air through the carb. Uh, so fill up these DOs and you will notice a crazy, crazy change in performance, especially on the low end. Um, you know, I've heard some people swear by, you know, increasing top speed too, um, which, you know, is possible depending on how your tune is. Um, but, they, you know, these are really, really meant for the low end, mid range. You'll gain a ton of performance. So overall, there you go. Um, also, I make these. So I make these stuffers for pretty common sized carbs. Um, I, I kind of just make an average size for all of them. Um, the, let's see if I can get that out here. Uh, I think this is I don't know 24, 25 millimeters. Um, that's just because this is what a lot of the common intakes their sizes are. Uh, so I try and match it as closely as I can to that. Uh, the GT80, that's pretty much maxed out and much bigger, and we don't have any more wall thickness. Um, these are 26 millimeters. Uh, I made it to match specifically for the inside here. 
So it's a, it's a constant diameter the entire way. So if you have a, if you desire a custom uh, diameter, I can definitely do it uh, for the most part, depending on which one. Uh, the DOs and the G2s have the most room to, to wiggle with. Uh, I think I can get up to 28 or 29, um, and probably uh, 20, probably 28 for the DOs as well. Um, you know, by then you start getting really big and you're using big carbs, I assume. Uh, but you really want to match these to, to what diameter your intake is. But anyways, there they all are. Uh, if anybody has any future questions, let me know. I'll be free to ask them. Um, definitely check them out. I've got, I don't know, probably 100, 200 of these things out there. Um, and I've heard nothing but great things about them. Um, I personally run one in my AM6. Uh, yeah, absolutely can't complain about it all. Um, check them out. Uh, my website, Smaller Performance. You can go to the read stuffer section. There'll be a link in the description. All right. Thank you.